Hello, Michael here. I thought I'd take a little break from the normal routine and tell you about a funny thing that happened when I was young. I say young and I was. I was about 10 years old. By the way, this is a true story. Jim Croce said in a song once, you don't tug on Superman's cape, you don't spit into the wind, you don't pull the mask off old old ranger, and you don't mess around with Jim. Well, I'd like to add another one to that. You don't blow your nose with toilet paper. <laughs> Let me explain. When I was growing up, my parents always had both toilet paper and facial tissue in the bathroom, all the time. Now, when I say facial tissue, I'm talking about Kleenex, which is actually a brand, not the product. But I think when I was young, there must not have been many different brands of facial tissue because I don't remember anyone ever calling Kleenex facial tissue, especially not in my house. <laughs> anyway, at that time in my life, I had no comprehension of people who use these products interchangeably. I'll never forget going to a friend's house whose parents apparently didn't believe in buying Kleenex. As my friend and I were playing in his bedroom, I suddenly felt the need to blow my nose. So I headed for the bathroom. When I got there, I noticed there was no Kleenex. I went back to the bedroom and asked my friend if they had any Kleenex. He said, yeah, it's in the bathroom. So I headed back into the bathroom and looked around. I still didn't see it. So I went and asked his mother, telling her that I needed to blow my nose. She said it was no problem and that there was some Kleenex in the bathroom. So off I went again. I looked everywhere, but to no avail. So I went back into the living room, a little embarrassed, and told her that I couldn't find it. Getting up, she said, come on, follow me. She took me to the bathroom, pointed at the toilet paper, and proclaimed with full assurance, here it is. And then she left. It's a good thing she left too, because I'm sure I must have had the dumbest look on my face that has ever been. Apparently, I had never ever blown my nose with toilet paper before. <laughs> Why would I? That stuff is used for, well, you know, and to put it anywhere near your face would be like, well, you know. <laughs> my imagination was running wild. How could this be, I wondered. But having no other choice, except maybe my shirt, I finally decided to try. I blew a couple times, and to my surprise, the stuff worked pretty well. It seemed fairly soft and absorbent, kind of like, well, you know, Kleenex. <laughs> but then I began trying to pick with it. What a mistake. It began ripping and breaking apart. Tiny little rods of toilet paper were getting stuck in my nostrils. I stood there for several minutes wondering what I would do. Then it occurred to me, I needed some Kleenex. <laughs> Needless to say, ever since I have been a grown man and had my own home, it is never without both toilet paper and facial tissue, usually Kleenex. Well, I always end my videos by saying that I hope this video has been a help and a blessing. I mean that this time too, <laughs> just maybe in a little bit different way than usual. Anyway, I hope that you will share this video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you. I'll see you next time. <laughs>